Hello, it's Elder here, and today I want to talk to you about this new tactical pen that I picked up. It's a tactical LED pen with a few other key features made by a company called Survival Hacks. Now, I've been reviewing tactical pens for a while. They're actually a personal favorite of mine, certainly an EDC, especially when traveling overseas. And uh, all these tactical pens are all just a bit different from each other. So the key here is to share information and figure out which key features work best for you as well as the actual feel, especially when utilizing it as a self-defense tool. So let's get into some of the uh, specific pen uh, specs that this pen has to offer. So this tactical pen's made from aircraft grade aluminum, which makes it super light and at the same time very durable. The tip is a tungsten cone tip that you can use as a glass breaker. And of course, when you are utilizing it as a self-defense tool, that would also be the uh, business end. Now, as you go ahead, you would unscrew the tip here, revealing the actual pen it's mimicked after the, uh, the Parker ballpoint pens. So you can go ahead and uh, pretty much get refills anywhere for it once this uh, does run out. And what's cool about this end here is that it also screws, as far as the cap, into the, uh, the front end, which really, as far as a self-defense application, if you have the wherewithal to uh, be ready beforehand to see this threat coming and you're able to prepare it this way, you actually have two business ends that can be utilized and you're also making your tool that much bigger. And of course, the more experience you have with wielding it and uh, utilizing it for self-defense, the uh, better you'll be able to uh, bode with it because of these two ends, which is a feature that uh, I haven't really seen on other tactical pens that I've reviewed. So I placed the cap back on, covering up the pen part, revealing the tungsten tip once again. Now on the complete other side, where the cap was screwed into before, is an LED flashlight. And uh, once again, I was actually surprised with the amount of light that it actually gives off. It seemed like it was gonna be more of a novelty, but uh, in a pinch, it actually illuminates a lot better than I thought it would. What I do like about that feature is, let's say somebody like my wife, that I'm always asking her to carry a tactical pen around, especially at nighttime when she's going in and out of her car, uh, coming home from work, things of that nature. But of course, the pen pretty much stays in her pocketbook. But she does utilize a flashlight just to be able to uh, see where she's going and illuminate her way. So the fact that she could utilize this and already have this in her hand, that's half the battle right there. So I kind of like the fact that this... Uh, reinforces the fact that she's going to have a tactical pen in her hand, even though that might have not been what her actual uh, objective was. So pretty cool uh, little feature that could come in handy for uh, somebody that doesn't want to just carry around a tactical flashlight and kind of has everything bundled into one. As we open up the pen here in the middle, what it'll actually reveal is a ferro rod. And uh, you got a lot of good real estate here because the bottom of the pen actually acts as a handle. So you're able to uh, get some good leverage in there to send those sparks and get your fire started in a pinch. This does come with a removable clip, pocket clip. So whether you want to utilize the pen with the clip or clipless, once again, you have that option. The choice is up to you. One of the concerns that I had with this pen without actually uh, utilizing it, just seeing the specs, was the fact that the actual LED flashlight was up here on top. Now, when we are utilizing a tactical pen, let's say for self-defense, it pretty much mimics a blade. So you have relatively uh, two grips that are your go-to grip. So yeah, let's say you have a forward grip and you would have a reverse grip. And pretty much for this tactical pen, I would recommend, and it's uh, pretty much a natural movement, for it to fit right into your hand in this reverse grip so that you could go ahead and deploy blows or whatever you're going to do for your self-defense with this pen. But the fact that the LED light was here, I was kind of worried, all right, how is this gonna feel on the thumb? Is it even gonna be practical? Are you gonna be able to actually deploy blows? But uh, surprisingly, it's actually very comfortable. And the fact that it has that little groove in there, my thumb kind of fits in there and stays stationary so it feels comfortable especially when you're in a situation where your heart is beating through your chest and you might be sweating or there might be rain or whatever the case may be. Knowing that you have a solid position here on top of the cap uh, or where a cap would be is uh, definitely something that would make this pen viable. If not, it really wouldn't be a tactical pen or a self-defense pen. It would just be a pen. So bottom line, if you're in a market for a tactical pen that looks pretty cool, feels good, writes well, and has a, a couple pretty key features in here, that might be uh, useful for you and for your needs, take a close look at this uh, tactical LED pen by Survival Hacks. Maybe exactly what you're looking for. Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you found this review useful.